What if I told you that you could write Python code directly inside of a spreadsheet? That's right, you can take your existing Python knowledge, immediately apply it, and not have to become a finance bro or learn all of these random formulas in order to be effective in a sheet. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that with a completely free tool that you can start using right now, so let's get into it. So the tool I'm talking about here is called Quadratic AI. Now it's free, it's an AI powered spreadsheet, and it works in your browser like something like Google Sheets. You can bring in Excel documents, you can bring in sheets, you can connect to databases, APIs, and it's pretty much an AI powered spreadsheet that allows you to write code directly inside of the sheet. Now you don't actually have to write it, you can use AI to generate it, but the point is it's super cool, it's free, and they were kind enough to sponsor this video, so a massive thank you to them. So let me hop in the sheet and show you exactly what this can do, because this is a game changer for anyone who's a programmer or a little bit more technical. So I just opened up a sample sheet here and you can see how this works. I have some sample data, I actually just use the AI in here to generate all of this, and then notice that I actually have Python code directly embedded inside of my sheet. So this chart you see here, average salary by primary programming language, this was generated with the Python code on the right hand side of your screen. So not only can we directly have Python code inside of here, we can see exactly what the code is that's generating the different components of our sheet and we can go in there and change it. Now, of course, we can use AI to actually modify the code. We can have it generated for us. So this code, I just used AI to generate and then tweaked it slightly. But the point is I can take my existing Python skills and use it inside of this sheet without having to learn all of the obscure Excel formulas that I know many of you hate, just like I do. Same thing with this table right here. So if I click into this one, I go to the code editor, you can see that this is some Python code that I wrote where I'm directly referencing different cells that are inside of my sheet. I'm then grabbing all of the languages and I'm just doing you know, kind of a simple count of the various different languages and then showing it here in a table. Same thing with this one right here. We can go to this, go to open code editor and you can see exactly the code that was used to generate this table. Now this works with JavaScript as well as obviously normal Excel functions as well and it's insanely cool, and I wanna show you some more examples. So let's say I make a new sheet here by pressing the plus button. What I can do if I wanna generate something like sample data is I can go here to this kind of magic icon that says sheet chat, and then here I can just ask it to generate me a bunch of sample data or to do literally anything that I want. So I'm just asking it generate me some sample e-commerce product data in a table, and it's gonna go ahead and use AI to generate all of this for me. Now, if it requires code, it will actually write the code to do this, and then I can see the exact code that generated the output. But in this case, this is just some sample data. It can just go ahead and directly input the table into the sheet. So you can see, popped up here. I was actually gonna fast forward, but it did that relatively quickly. And now we have you know a bunch of sample data that we can mess around with. So next I can say, can you give me a table showing the items by price? Or let's do something like, you know, maybe a, a chart. And if we do this, let's see what it gives us. Okay, so you can see that it just generated this bar chart for me. Now, obviously I wasn't very specific. I could ask this, you know, more detailed what I want. Shows me the item name, shows me the price. And then you can see that we have the axes. Now these are pretty good, but if I wanted to go in here, I could just click on this, go open code editor. And then from here, I can actually mess around and just change this. Or I can just ask the code chat to modify it for me. So of course I can change my model. I can use something like Claude 3.7, which has been pretty insane recently. I can say this, is cool, but I want it much more visual. Make it look cooler. And let's just see what it gives us from that. Okay, and there we go. So I'll press on accept. I'm just gonna close this now. It kind of shows us the diff on what it was doing. And then of course we're using Plotly, Pandas, etc., inside of here. And you can see that we can directly reference the table as well as referencing uh, individual cells. Now, obviously this looks a lot better. I can be more specific if I want some different coloring and then I can actually go here. I can take an image of this. So if I wanted to put it in something like, you know, a PowerPoint slide or something, I could. I can zoom in, pan, you know, all the stuff that you could do in Plotly if you were using this, uh, you know, in Python. So that's pretty cool. And then of course, kind of we have this interactability now with the graph that we just generated in a few seconds using AI and using Python. So as much as yeah, you can go in there and write the Python code yourself, really the AI will take care of most of it for you. And it's pretty insane to me that you can just do that, right? You can just write Python code inside of the sheet and it just works. And of course you can do it with JavaScript as well. Now going back to the code editor for a second, there's a few things you should know. So for example, if I make a mistake and maybe I forget like a parenthesis or something just not working inside of here, if I run this, maybe we get a syntax error, right? So you can see if we go look, it says error. 
What I can actually do is I can press this button that says fix with AI. I can press it here as well. And then it's just gonna use the AI chat. It's gonna search through this and it's gonna attempt to fix it for me. So let's see if it finds the issue and it says, yes, you know, I found the issue. We're missing the closing parentheses. So let's add that. It will give me the diff. Okay, so we can see the diff with the fix. I can go ahead and press accept and then we're good to go. Now further to that, I could just go to the console here and let's say maybe I didn't wanna actually display the figure. I just wanted to maybe print out some data or see what I'm getting. I could print something like my data frame or maybe data frame dot head or something along those lines. And then if I run this, we can go in here to our console and we can actually have a look at what the output is. So of course it's outputting something to the spreadsheet. And the way that it does that is just by using something like figure dot show. Or if you just did something like DF, so you just write the actual expression that you want to display, then it will just display that. I'll show you a quick example of that in one second, but uh, you get the idea. So you can either look in the console or you can just see kind of the output here in the actual sheet. Now, let's say we wanted to do something where maybe we're going to create like kind of a string that contains a bunch of these different values. Well, what I could do is go here, click on a cell. I can go to this little code button here where it says code editor. I can choose that I wanna import uh, Python, for example. So maybe I wanna have something like an F string, right? Just like a simple Python expression uh, rather than kind of this you know, long block of code. Well, inside of this code editor, I can just write something like F and then I can say Q.cells A3, Q.cells B3, where I'm just directly referencing some cells inside of here. I can press run. Let me just go to this and we'll change it so that it overflows. So rather than wrapping, let's go overflow. And now we get P001 colon wireless earbuds pro. So this is obviously a stupid, simple example, but you can just render any expression that you want directly inside of the cell. Again, you do that by just clicking on the cell, clicking on the code editor here, inserting what you want, again, JavaScript, formula, Python. And then from here, you just write the expression that you want to be displayed and it will just show up directly inside of the sheet. Now continuing, let's imagine I have something like a Google Sheet or an Excel spreadsheet. Well, obviously I probably want this functionality inside of that. And to do that, I'm gonna have to import this into Quadratic. So what I can do is I could go something like file, you know, I can download this as like an Excel document, and then I can actually just drag this directly inside of Quadratic. So let me show you how that works. So I've got this document here that contains a bunch of my YouTube view figures. So I can literally just grab it, copy it inside of here, and then all of the sheets it pastes in. So I have my chart data, for example, I have my table data, I have my total, so all of the sheets that I had inside of there, and then I can just immediately start using AI to interact with this data and kind of grab some insights. So let's actually do something like that. I can go here to my AI chat. I can just select my sheet, so something like table data, and say, can you uh, generate a chart of views per day with my bad spelling? Uh, and let's see if it gives that to us. Okay, and there we go, we get the chart showing up over here. Now this may not be exactly what I wanted, so of course I can go back with the AI, I can adjust this, I can see the code that it's actually using, but the point is it's very quick to actually grab insights on this data, where otherwise, if I wasn't familiar with Excel, this would take me a very long time to do. Anyways, let's move on to some of the cooler components like connecting with databases and APIs. So one of the interesting parts of this from a developer perspective is that you can really easily analyze SQL databases or external data sources inside of this tool without having to write a bunch of manual code like you might have to previously. So for example, if I go here to the connections button, you can see that I can connect to Postgres, MySQL, Snowflake, a SQL server, and I believe later they're gonna be adding some more. And what I can do is go to something like Postgres, fill in the details, and I've already done that for just a sample DB that I set up that has some random product data. So if I do that, it's gonna start loading this database for me. You can see that it shows me all of the tables. So this is the only table I have for right now. It's just a listing, kind of like a fake e-commerce listing. And then if I click on this, I can go new file with selected table, and then it's gonna open up a new sheet for me and show me all of the data from this. So let's give this a second here, and you can see that it populates this for me. Let's close this kind of AI uh, viewer. And it shows me the select statement or the SQL statement that it's using in order to populate this data. So now from here, I can just get this to start generating insights about this data and generate the SQL strings for me so that I don't need to manually query this. So I can say, you know, get me all listings with price let's go above 100 or something, right? And then what it's gonna do is adjust the SQL string for me, and then I can run it and view it directly inside of here. So let's go accept, okay, run. And then we should see here that now we only get stuff that's above 100, and I believe that's the case. Now I'm gonna say, you know, sort by price increasing order. Okay, let's see if it can add that for us. 
obviously we could do that in the sheet as well, but you know, let's see if it will just add that to the SQL statement and then accept and then run. And then there you go. You can see that it's now all sorted. Of course, if you had multiple tables, you can get it to do some more advanced join operations and you can really see some interesting stuff here. But the point is like in a few seconds, I can start inspecting this data inside of a familiar environment. I can generate charts about it and I don't need to go to some like SQL viewer or some more complicated tool in order to do this. Okay, so that's pretty cool, but I think what's even more interesting is that I can literally call APIs from inside of Quadratic. So check out this code sample here. It's just for this table where it's generating a bunch of random users. And you can see that I can import requests. I can use some of the values that I have inside of the sheets as kind of dynamic variables. So in this case, like the API key, the endpoint, the method, etc., And then I can just send a bunch of requests. Now, in this case, I just send it out 10 times, generate 10 random users, and then take the result and throw that in a table. So if I run the code here, give it a second, you'll see that this table will update and I'll just get 10 new random users that I can view directly inside of Quadratic. Okay, so there you go, it updated. And in my opinion, that's super cool because again, I can just really quickly test the response that I'm getting back from my APIs. And if it is a lot of data, I can organize it, I can do charts on it, and I can mess with it in this kind of experimental environment and know exactly how I'm getting that data. Now I did the same thing up here with some NASA data. So you can see that if I go here and I go to open code editor, I have a little bit more of an advanced uh, kind of request going to the NASA API where it pulls some data and maps it out for me. But you could do this with literally any API. And in my opinion, that's just super cool. And you can get some really dynamic values kind of populating inside of the sheet. Okay, so that covers the main set of features, but I will quickly mention that this is also multiplayer. So you can share this just like you could share a Google Doc or something. You can give someone access, you can let them view it, uh, and then they can start interacting with this sheet as well. So if you are in something like a team or an organization or you want someone to be able to look at this, then I mean, of course you have that ability. Now I know this was a sponsored video, but honestly, this is a super cool tool. It's definitely something that I'm going to be using because it's just so much easier than using something like Google Sheets or Excel. I can write Python Python code directly inside of here, I have that AI component. And I feel like now I can actually really kind of take advantage of the power of this tool, like, you know, kind of the sheets editor, rather than being stuck in kind of not knowing the formulas, which was always something that was very frustrating to me. Anyways, I hope you guys got some value from this video. If you did check it out for free from that link below, and I will see you in the next one.